it's me so y'all welcome to my kitchen today where i'm going to be making you a delicious pumpkin cake let's take a look at these ingredients i have some canned pumpkin some eggs cinnamon baking soda baking powder vanilla extract sugar flour salt and oil let's see what we can put together with all these great ingredients I'm putting in this bowl two cups of sugar. Excuse the glove on my hand. I just cut my finger. That happens in the kitchen sometimes. That's two cups of plain flour. I'm putting in two teaspoons of cinnamon, baby. As you can see, we can be very uh, not so precise with the cinnamon. It does not have to be exact. You could put more if you would like. We're going to try to stick as close as we can to the two teaspoons. I have two teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. Now comes the canned pumpkin. Two cups here. Now believe me, I'll get the rest of this out with my spatula. Let's start beating up this batter and it better be good I have one cup of oil that I'm putting in now and this is going to make that batter a lot more loose and that's good that's what we want I'm getting in my four room temperature eggs there goes another one My third egg. Now I'm not really beating it this fast. I've speeded this up for the interest of time. Here's my fourth egg. Look at that little yolk go. He doesn't want to get beat up by that beater. Go, little egg, go. Bye bye. <laughs> Silly. I wanted to show you, this is Watkins Baking Vanilla. Just any vanilla extract will do though. You don't have to buy in Watkins, although it's a very good product. It's been in our family since I was, before I was born. As I said again, you're not really gonna beat yours that fast. You'll wind up with, with all of your counters and your cabinets. So slow yours down. Let's pour this batter up into two nine inch cake pans. All right, that's how it's supposed to look. I'm just tapping my cake pans on the counter to get any air bubbles out. You can also use a knife to just kind of go through it. You don't have to do both, do one or the other. Into the oven, I'm gonna put it into a 350 degree preheated oven. I'm gonna cook it for about 25 or 30 minutes till the toothpick comes out. There it is, and here we go. So now while that's baking, I'm gonna make my icing. I have two cups of 16 ounces of powdered sugar, vanilla flavoring, one stick of butter, and one block of cube cheese. I'm sorry, not cube cheese, but cream cheese, I guess that would be. <laughs> I'm gonna also use some lemon flavoring. So let's go ahead and get this job started. I'm putting this butter into the bowl, and you can tell that butter is very soft. It is room temperature, it's been sitting out for a good while. So has my cream cheese that I've already cut into little blocks. And I only did that to make it easier to clean. It will all cream together much better if it's um, already so very soft. Here we go. Start creaming this together. Make it nice and fluffy. Now I'm smelling that cake in the oven and I smell this cream cheese and sugar of it and butter and everything is just smelling so good in here oh i can't hardly wait i know how this cake tastes and so i'm excited so i'm gonna go ahead and put my lemon flavoring in one teaspoon give you a good look at that 
I'm putting uh, one teaspoon of vanilla flavor. Now let's really start beating it here. I'm putting in my 16 ounces of powdered sugar. You may call it confection sugar, 10x sugar. It's all the same. Okay, I'm going to scrape my bowl down here. Mm, so nice. You know, baking a cake in your kitchen for your family is a wonderful thing. So in kindergarten, we learned how to make orange. That's using red and yellow. So here I'm putting food coloring in, a little bit more red. Sometimes, some years, I'll make my orange real dark. The color of a pumpkin, sometimes I'll make it a little lighter. This time I'm making mine a little lighter. So I'm getting this icing down over my uh, one of my, my first cake layer. It has already cooled. On a cooling rack, it's cooled for about 45 minutes. Now, anybody that knows me so you know I am not a cake decorator. I don't have uh, the skills for all that little food food stuff that you do. So I just get my icing on any way I can get it on. My cakes always look rustic. They always look homemade. But my cakes are always good. They're delicious. Wouldn't you rather have a cake that looks good or a cake that tastes good? And this cake tastes good. Yeah, this is a good eating cake. <laughs> so, I'm just getting this icing on here, all over, smoothing it out, getting it all over the cake. Now, some of you guys that are very good at decorating, go ahead and put you some spider web or some spiders or whatever you want to put on your cake. I put some um, sliced, slithered almonds on here. Take a look. Mm -hmm. So good. And look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's so good. Pretty too. Mm. Look how moist. I just want to show you this. Can you see how soft and moist this cake is? I'm going to do everything I can to just let you know how moist and delicious this cake is. Guess I would have to taste it for you. Let me let you see it. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. You got to try this. This is the easiest cake that you'll ever make, guys. Get your kids to help you with it. They'll love it. So easy. You don't have to put anything in any order. Just put it in the bowl. Get it, get it rocking. Get it in the oven. Oh, man, you got to try it. Yeah, yeah. Those are plastic spiders you see around my cake. Don't judge me. <laughs> That's my decoration. Guys, you got to try this cake. It's delicious. Get it on your table. Get it in your household for the holidays. Your family's gonna love you for it. Your friends are gonna think you're a kitchen rock star. If you like my videos, guys, I want you to share them. Give me some comments. I love interacting with you. Thank you for stopping by to see what I was doing today because you knew I'd be throwing down. Guys, there's so much going on in the world today, so much controversy and so much hate. Whatever, whoever you see today, whoever you touch today, show them some love. 